everyone and welcome to Dwellers in the Dark, Deadliest Tournament Armies. And for today, we have been allowed special permission to film in my car. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're here at Warmer World. We're, uh, we're here at Trona Skulls. We're having a bit of a laugh. But most importantly, we have the indelible, I have no idea what that means. No, we no, have no. the awesomeness. Mm, that's a twist on words. And we have the semi-devious. I use semi-devious because I'm going to yeah. use devious for we'll, someone we'll else, maybe. That, we'll we'll do the semi-devious Mr. James Long. <laughs> We've never played together, unfortunately. We've played on adjacent tables about a million times. He doesn't We've want to play. We've never technically actually played. I don't want to play me. <laughs> There's been, I think, two or three situations where we were going to play, then through some draw change or whatnot we yeah. ended up not playing yeah i know so, i know um, you paid the to's money oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's been a long time in the coming hasn't it you are the only person in the top 10 even top 15 that i have not played seriously you're the only person i have not oh, played lucky me therefore you stand quite highly up with mr tom harrison as the only person i haven't beaten either <laughs> <laughs> oh fighting talk fighting so mr tom harrison beats me each and every time mr darling anyway we're here to talk about your deadliest tournament army which happens to be the corsairs and not just the corsairs but the corsair reavers and not just reavers reavers with axes yeah mm. Tell us a bit more about your army. <laughs> We're looking at around um, six to eight hundred points sweet spots, tournament-wise. So the first GBHL tournament that I ever came to um, was Throne of Skulls here um, at Warhammer World. And it was um, two years ago where everything had to be from a single list, because then you were put into a specific faction. Right, well, okay. Um, so originally, the Reaver list was Golden King, Reavers, um, it was Knight of Umbar with Serpent Guard, and then it was a Captain of Harrod with Watchers of Karna. Right, you've got a good memory. Yeah, <laughs> well. Um, but since then it sort of evolved slightly, and uh, evolved, sorry. Um, and what it what it is today Don't worry, is, most of uh, us don't speak English anyway. I was like, oh, I'm not about <laughs> however many in, I can't speak Any properly. children watching, we're going to cut that. Don't drink. <laughs> don't drink don't and drive. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're sitting there. Yeah. Um, I'm on the cokes. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> right. Um, what it is nowadays, my normal list to take is um, Golden King, 12 Reavers, Shadow Lord on foot. This is at 600 points. Yeah. Shadow Lord on foot with a couple of sort of uh, 10 to 11 Morannons, depending on points value. Nice. Um, and then Taskmask, uh, Taskmaster with um, Watchers of Karna with bow and a couple of reavers just to make up the points cost because obviously bow limits and everything else. Yeah. However, what we're trying at the moment is I'm taking a couple of watchers out and putting some arbalesters in. Oh, just cool. For the, sort of the archery punch. Yeah. However, I'm finding they're not not quite as good as I'd like them. To You're be. struggling with their movement, lack of movement there for that's, yeah. That's the thing. The mobility yeah. issue is huge, and then once they hit combat, they're defense three. Ah. So it's it's less than ideal so I'm thinking of potentially sacking them off and going back to the watchers yeah okay um, but as of the moment the standard 600 point list is yeah that's, okay. uh, that's what it is so what meant you you decided to bring this to your very first GT which was yes, Throne of yes, Skulls yes. a couple of years ago yep and what made you think of this army um, well I only honestly had, on, honestly <laughs> I only had Howard originally I used to play with um, sort of SPG with a friend of mine that I went to school with um, and he always used to have Easterlings. I was used to right. have Harrod, sort okay. of reserve, sort of an ally sort of thing. Um, and so I had the models for it. Yeah. So when we were coming to Throne of Schools two years ago, um, the idea behind it was, okay, first tournament, competitive tournament, I want to be as competitive as possible. Right. Therefore, I went for the Reavers Reactors, I went for the Serpent Guard, I went for the Watchers, yeah. in the hope of doing particularly well. Um, and it worked out all right. It was mm. good. It can be scary, well. that sort of list. I haven't faced it yet, but I've seen people who faced it and they've come and walk, walked away ash faced and, you know, <laughs> going like, oh, God, what happened? <laughs> I'll stop it. Stop it. <laughs> but <laughs> you, you, let's talk about 800 point lists. It, it, what sort of variations would you chuck in there? At 800 points, I have a Fell Beast. Okay. So I have Shadow Lord with Fell Beast. Um, and then I just have more stuff. Right. So I have right. a full of Warbands, I have more kitted out Moranans. Right. Um, I have um, just sort of filler stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just um, if if it's a particularly sort of movement heavy tournament in sort of the, the scenarios that are being played, yeah. then um, I'll put maybe potentially a couple of wargs in there. Okay. Just to just give me a bit of the flexibility. Okay. Um, what sort of scenario do you fear the most? Uh, fear is a word I've been using throughout this series, but yeah. 
I think you know what I mean. Yeah, I have been watching it. I do, oh, okay. do enjoy the series. Someone watches. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up to all you who do. <laughs> Use and um, use. That's cool. Which which no? Do you mean when when you're asking about Simon's? Do you mean from the Hobbit or do you mean from Lord of the Rings? Or do you let's mean from let's take it from the original six. The original six. And okay. then, is there any custom scenarios that you worry about? Um, so the original six, I I find Reconnoiter and Hold Ground the two difficult ones. Even with your numbers. Even with the numbers, just because. As a force, it works incredibly well together, which is why right. I get onto you with hold ground. Yep. Um, it works incredibly well together, but when you need to start pinging them off right. to start getting off the edge of the board, you sort of drop in the ability that what it can do. I see. I hold see. Hold ground, if it's all with most armies, if you don't win, uh, if you don't lose priority, sorry, then you deploy first. Yeah. Which means if your army's then broken up, yeah. It doesn't work. And you may well be forced to use might to absolutely. try and keep them together, yeah. Exactly. So my army works really well when everything is in together. Okay. So not deploying, which is why I burn might all the time, just to make sure it all comes on in the same place. Yes. Which is, when it doesn't come on in the same place, hold ground, maelstrom of battle. Yeah. It's when it goes down the drain. Of course. What army type do you fear the most? Well, what gives you, the, um, what gives you palpitations? I don't like playing against... Multiple hurls, because if my models are on the floor, then they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, which yeah. is killing things. Yeah. Um, and then um, I also sort of multiple really strong threat heroes. Right. So not not necessarily you all hero lists, um, but for example, I've I've played against a list recently, which was Glorfindel and the Twins. Yeah. Which is three really decent heroes, which was sort of a bit of a challenge yeah. having to deal with all three at once when you can uh, only really deal with one maybe two of them at any one time yeah so it's it's a big balancing act between sort of sacrificing a couple of people compared to what you can shut down in terms of sort of yes. walking around your opponents aren't we yeah yeah so hurls are we are we saying fell beasts here or are we talking about eagles and the like hurls in general generally Just hurls hurls in general um, okay and anything else that puts you on your bum so right. sorcerer's blasts if um, someone's running double wizard, for example, I can shut down one of them with the wraith with the yeah, board. yeah. However, the other one, sorcerer's blast, everything's on its bomb, not doing what it should be doing. Indeed. The, indeed. the whole army is created to do as much work for itself, so I don't need to do as much thinking. <laughs> yeah. Literally, literally okay. that is yeah. that is the reason behind it. So you run in after you've shot them with the watchers. Yes. So you've depleted their numbers slightly. You've then hit them in combat with a fight five front line with a strength four spear support. Yeah. So then you've depleted numbers again. Yeah. You're doing piercing strikes all over the place. If and when appropriate. Yeah. The opponent then breaks. Then their general has to take a courage test. The Shadow Lord and the Golden King then contribute essentially minus seven courage. Right. Providing I've not drained courage, sat willed. Yeah. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. The rest of it. Which then makes the general run away. Which is then sort of a six VP difference. I don't want to play this yeah, no, I don't want to play him either. Which is why I've been avoiding him. I've been yeah, well, I don't want to play your to army. Away. I don't mind playing you. I just don't want to play your army. You just don't want to play me. But, um, play the, the idea behind the army is, is to do as much work for me, so I don't yeah. have to. Um, wow. But it's, um, it's, it's, it's been an evolution of different things that we've progressed through. Right. But yeah, Hurl, Hurl right. and Sorcerer's Blasts are the two main things. If you came up against your own army, this is a strange question I haven't asked people before. If you came up against your own army, what would your greatest fears be? I know the glue that holds it all together. Right. So if I were to play exactly the same list, I would feel fairly confident because okay. there are three factors mm. that if you can get rid of two of them, the whole thing will just crumble. Ah, I see. Right. So I believe having the understanding of how it actually plays together, yeah. I, I know where to target things, how to target things, that it, it's a really easy list to take down. Providing a couple of the things are removed. Yeah. I know. I know the viewers are going to kill me for this. We're not going to ask you what those three things Ooh, are. I thought you were. Because, no, no, we're not. We're not. We're not. Because uh, yeah, I think you've given us enough already that we can kind of chew the cud over what might the three things yeah. be. It, and I the think, reason the reason it's evolved so much is to sort of close down the loopholes or yeah. close down the weaknesses in it. Well, listen, James. Thank you very, very much. Hey, no worries.
I don't want to face that army. Listen, <laughs> you take care, mate. Let's go in. Let's see if we're playing together yeah, today. <laughs> and uh, guys, like, subscribe, you know, the usual blah, 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 blah. Uh, but most importantly, if you've got any comments or any questions, put them down and you know, I'll try and contact him and see if he's got any further <laughs> answers. Three glues. Yeah. Remember the three points, guys? Yeah, we'll work on it. Okay, you take care. Oh, 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 oh,